Chicano art is art made by Chicanos, but what is a Chicano? The strict definition of as a Mexican-American with a defiant political attitude. And that definition in itself is in the state of, of evolution, and how it affects and how it includes other cultures. Well, by definition, Chicano art is American art. And it's a voluntary category. You see, you weren't born in Chicano. And there's no box you can check off on the Census Bureau. Chicano, you can check off Hispanic, even Mexican-American, but Chicano is a, is, a, is a voluntary category. You have to declare yourself a Chicano in order to be one. So what's the message? We exist, we don't exist. We are part of it, we are not part of it. And so part of the Chicano movement was to declare that we are not only part of it, we are a main part of the American cultural landscape. And so uh, I started playing on that, you know, that voluntariness of outsider art. The gap in my art knowledge was contemporary art and I didn't really know, I knew kind of names, but I didn't know contemporary. Started going to galleries in, in LA and that's where I discovered these Chicano painters. And right away I realized these guys, these painters, guys and gals, are, are really good because I'd seen good painting all my life. And I, well, these, they can really put it on, you know. It's like discovering a, a great saxophone player or guitar player. Like, wow, those, those guys, wow, these are cool. It's like, you know. And that's what I started, I started collecting. And then my, my addiction to collecting uh, kicked in very quickly. And I was, I was the perfect storm. Part of this process, the process of education, not kind of with a finger in your face, is like, here, here, here's what it does. And always the reaction is, well, I didn't know it was going to be like this. I like this. You know, and it's like, hmm, I didn't know mayonnaise tasted like this. Well, I like mayonnaise. I'm going to put this on everything, you know. <laughs> and it, that's, that's the process, you know, because you have to be in, introduced to it in order to, you can't just have a vague idea in your head and not really ever see the art. You know, but it is because all these Chicano artists are university and or art school trained. And they have that, this, and they're exposed to world art as well as their, their, their Mexican background. It's the collusion and collision of these aspects put, put together with American pop and, and, and world art that forms vision of what Chicano art is and how it expresses itself, you know. It is, and it's quintessentially as what we think of as Americans, you know, of, if it was only the Americans that were born here of natural causes, <laughs> then then only Indians are Americans. Boy, art is the is is the universal glue, you know, that holds it together. A person standing in front of a painting in Bologna, Italy, is the same person standing in front of a painting in Laramie, Wyoming. And that's, you know, for all the art knowledge you can cram in your head and, you know, history and, and techniques and all those things, it all comes to one point when you stand in front of an artwork and go, they have the same experience. Wow, is that cool? Because that's what art should do, isn't it? You know, I, I, at some point I realized, well, why am I collecting all this art? I have enough art. And I started showing shows and I, and I realized that at, at, during the process that I'm, I'm collecting this art in order to share it with the people. And that's what I've been doing all this time. And art is the only thing we leave behind as a culture. The only thing. Uh, I, as far as I know, there's no museums dedicated to the art of the deal. Thousands of years later, people go to see the pyramids, or the Mona Lisa, the Eiffel Tower, or Guernica, or, or go see a painting by Carlos Almaraz in the future. They will, because that's the glue that binds them together and that makes them feel like human beings. You know, that, that, that we have this in common. This is what binds us, that, and it, it shows our soul. People in the, in the vast majority um, don't really know what a Chicano is, much less what their art looks like. They thought it's some, you know, crispy 
cheese drink and snack, you know, <laughs> little Chicanos. Oh, well, these are delicious, you know, and the beer that goes with them. It's good. In 2014, 50.6% of all children born in the United States were Latino. <laughs> we have you surrounded and we come in peace. <laughs> mm -hmm.